All right, everyone. Uh, this is Mac here from JLPTBootCamp.com, and today I'm going to show you a uh, very useful app called uh, Kotoba. And Kotoba is a free um, dictionary uh, that you can uh, get for uh, the iPhone. It's totally free, and it's based on um, Jim Breen's uh, the the Jim Breen's uh, website. Uh, that uh, has all the um, Japanese to English words available. So it's based on that. Uh, I think it's called the JDICT um, files. And so it has all those resources uh, packed into it, and it's um, free. And uh, it's pretty, it's pretty good system. Um, and, of course, you can look up, uh, you know, uh, words on here. Um, oops. <laughs> Uh, for example, in Romaji, or um, you can switch your keyboard to the uh, the Japanese keyboard and look up words uh, that way by uh, typing it in. Let's look up uh, Go here, for example, and you can, so you can look up. Um, uh, iku <laughs> for go and of course if you go into the file uh, you click on this you'll you can see the reading uh, several different readings uh, the different meanings and then uh, down here there's example sentences which are um, of course invaluable uh, for uh, language learning to, for you to uh, read some of these um, examples if you need some more examples uh, they they'll search the database for those these are the certified examples uh, that uh, um, come in the that show up first. And okay, so that's all uh, fine and good. But if you want to, there's some other powerful features in here. Um, for example, you can uh, send this uh, information to the clipboard by hitting the little up arrow in the corner. And there's also a really cool feature that uh, I've been starting to use recently, and it's the favorite button here. That's the star up in the upper right corner. If you hit that, then you favorite uh, this particular vocabulary word, and then you can go back and hit lists, and that's where you'll see your favorites here. So you can hit favorites, and uh, this is your list of... Um, favorites that you put and uh, that you saved and if you want to you can again hit that uh, little arrow key up in the upper right uh, corner the arrow coming out of the box and then you can send um, this via email as just a raw list uh, or email it as a CSV which um, is readable by uh, most vocabulary learning um, software uh, for example, um, you can use uh, this with um, Anki or Memrise or MimSync. You can just export as a CSV and then uh, send it into those um, different services or just copy it to the clipboard as raw information or, of course, uh, clear the list there. So that's a pretty slick system. Um, and so that's... That's pretty much how I've been um, uh, using this to build up my vocabulary lists with Anki and with Memrise. Now, you'll need to uh, make sure that uh, you only have uh, English turned on here. So, as long as these are all turned off and your primary language is English, then it'll export that information with the English definitions. Now, if you happen to uh, natively speak one of these other languages, then you should turn those on because then it'll export the list uh, with those extra um, meanings from the different languages. So uh, that is extremely useful. But one other last thing here, if you go back to the dictionary and you go back here, sometimes uh, you will see a word in a book. And if I can... There you go. Uh, you'll see a word in a book, but you don't know the reading of the um, kanji. You can hit this multi-radical look up here, off to the right, 
and that'll allow you to uh, look up kanji based on radicals. So maybe just push one of these buttons here. Bam. And, and then uh, so we I pushed this little uh, radical button here, and then it'll give you a listing of all those uh, kanji that contain that radical, or uh, bushu in Japanese is what those little parts are called. Um, and then you can hit multiple ones. Uh, for example, let's hit mouth here. There we go. So now uh, we have those two radicals, and we have all the kanji that um, uh, contain those two radicals. And uh, you'll notice some of these are in red and some of these are in black. The red ones are, um, you know, more commonly used kanji. The black are uh, not so commonly used uh, kanji, is uh, basically what that means. So uh, a lot of these black ones um, you won't really usually see uh, in Japanese so much. Usually you'll just see the kana version of the, the word if it uses one of these kanji. So uh, that's it. The app is called uh, Kotoba, and you can get that. Um, there's a link in the show notes for this on YouTube uh, for you to uh, pick that up out of the iTunes store if you haven't uh, picked it up already. I encourage you to do so. It's, it's free, uh, which is the best price of all. So this has been uh, Mac at jlpgbootcamp.com, uh, and thank you for listening.